Welcome back everybody. I just recorded a video about how to put on and take off leg braces. Now, I hope you watched that one, and now we're gonna stand up and walk in leg braces. If you watched the other video, what I said was do not put your leg braces on on the ground, like I just did. Because when we're walking, when we're standing up and walking, we're using this uh, walker, crutch wa walker, and there are other things you can use. I've used crutches, I've used forearm crutches or forearm braces, whatever they're called. But this is uh, just from Amazon, anywhere online, pretty cheap and it's also the safest one. So if you're at home, like even yes, if you can use the forearm crutches or just normal crutches or whatever, this is the safer option because if you begin to fall, it's easier to catch yourself with this or anything of that sort. So that's why I choose this. If you do happen to put leg braces on on the ground, because maybe that's the only open surface you have, maybe you have a very small bed, but I've done this in a twin bed, so no excuses. I'm gonna show you how to get up onto an elevated surface. I did once, one time, I learned how to go from the ground to standing up just with the walker, but I'm not so, I don't know. I kind of, I forget how to do it and it's hard. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just, I'm gonna use the walker and I just kind of have it close to me, as close as you want it. Arm up on here, you're kind of just doing a dip. Get yourself like this and then pull yourself back. It's important to keep your leg braces locked when you're doing this, because once you get up here, it might be difficult to lock them. Maybe not, you can try it yourself. If you have an easier time getting up with the leg braces unlocked and then you know how to lock them when you're up, go for it. But I'm assuming that you don't need to know how to do this anyway, so it's not that important because you shouldn't be doing this. You should just be starting on your bed, starting on your couch. and. So what you'll find is that if you scoot far back enough, your legs will kind of be held up, which is what you would expect because the leg braces are touching the couch here. And when you're on your bed, when you're on your couch, whatever, what I'll do is I'll scoot up enough that my legs are, are here touching, touching the ground or I'm just at a comfortable angle. And then I will lean up and over and then I'll do kind of a dip to pull myself up. Now, one thing that's important is you want to have most of your body already here in the middle, in the center of here, because if you're too far back, you just can't, just the mechanics of it, you can't really pull yourself up because this will fall back or something. So, so you really want to be as close to the center as possible. If you need to do like a double hand thing, maybe you could do that, but it's pretty hard. So I just recommend having your hands here on the handles, lean forward, like that, you, you saw it tip back a little bit and then push up to have yourself standing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of difficult. The reason that was difficult is because this is a low couch. This is one of those minimalist kind of low sitting couches. If you're on a bed and you have a bed frame or something, it'll be much better to do that um, from, a, from a higher surface. And now that, now that we're standing, if you have core control, so I have full abdominal control, which means I can kind of pull my leg up by doing a crunch of the oblique. And I'm also kind of pushing off of this. And I can kind of do a crunch of the oblique and then I can kind of swing my leg around and that's how we're gonna walk. If you can't do this, if you don't have core control, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of advice because this is just what I'm familiar with, but I would imagine that you just kind of pull yourself up like this and then just use your arms to swing your legs and you can maybe go at an angle to kind of get a get a stepping motion. So before we start walking, let's talk about balancing. If you want to just stand, maybe read a book for 30 minutes or so, you can have a wall behind you and then you can lean up against that wall. Just make sure that your feet don't slip out from under you. That's why you may want to have slippers or shoes on or just make sure that your feet are close enough to the wall that you can lean against it, but that you don't push your feet out from under you. So, um, so if you do struggle with balancing, you can just lean up against the wall and that'll give you a lot of what you need. Make sure not to lean against or expect any support from stuff like a dresser or some type of furnishing in that sense. Don't use stuff that can fall, use like the wall or a walker. And so talking about balancing, if you're able to, you can balance 
with nothing. You might have to learn how to shift your weight. And in my case, uh, my hips are a little bit uneven in the sense of I think my right hip has a little bit more muscular, uh, like not motor control, but just the muscles tighter or something like that. Or, or from my injury, like from my accident, um, you know, things might be misaligned a little bit. So you might have to play around with your feet. So for me, sometimes having a foot position like a front back like this, this is pretty comfortable. This is pretty good. And a lot of, a lot of this is coming from um, these, these hip muscles here is that you're pushing against these and they're kind of pulling you back. Because the way I'm standing here, yes, I'm balanced, but if you were to look at me from the side and you don't have to, but trust me, I'm kind of arced forward. If I were truly standing, I'd be like this. You can subtly see my hips come back. And unfortunately, I don't have any gluteal motor control. So I can't really use that muscle to pull my hips back. So all my balance is just coming from the lean. I'm just leaning into the leg braces and just kind of balancing my body. Now, once you get balanced like this, if you're in physical therapy and you're using leg braces, what I've done before in physical therapy is you take a weighted ball, a tennis ball, something, and you just play pass with somebody, and you just kind of learn to, you can see, I haven't done this in a while. You can see, you can catch and move around, stuff like that. You might get muscle spasms as well, so always be ready to catch yourself. So I've had a muscle spasm where it's this hip muscle that has a spasm in it. You know, the muscle will contract and it'll just make me bend forward. And I've been reading a book and then the book flies out of my hand because I have to catch myself, something like that. So always be, always have something around you to catch yourself on, not a dresser, you know, something more rigid or something like this that you can move around. Okay, so now let's get to the walking. When you're doing the walking, if, if you can and however you can, um, I start moving this forward, sometimes not too much. What I kind of do is I'll lean a little bit or I'll just kind of pull my foot up like I showed you before with my core that I can do it and then kind of push it forward. Then I'll shift weight to that foot and I'll pull the other foot forward, shift weight to that foot and so on. Now, uh, let me know, I guess, in the comments if you'd like videos about making food, brushing your teeth, doing more, uh, you might call occupational therapy type of activities in the leg braces. So I've made muffins before with assistance when I was doing inpatient rehab. So you can definitely do it. Uh, expect it to take three or five times as long as it would because you can imagine if I'm opening the fridge, just to open the fridge and then I got to move up to the fridge, right, to grab something from it and then make sure the door stays open and then I got to reach in, grab the eggs and then I got to also make sure that I can grab the eggs and put them somewhere and then I can move and shut the fridge. Very difficult, possible. And if you really want to get that kind of standing, the motion, the doing the stuff, we can make videos about that. So there you go. That's standing and walking and leg braces. Catch you in the next one.